Hey, how's it going? My name is Daniel, aka Hashtips, and welcome back to my channel with these short marketing videos. Now, in the previous video, we have discussed how you can market by talking, using word of mouth, and being on Twitter spaces to do networking and grow your project. In this video, we will be discussing Yes, NFT marketing by trying. Now, actually, this video should have been called NFT marketing by failing. And uh, I thought that's a bit negative, so it's not that. But in essence, that's what I want to say today. It's that it's okay to fail when you start a project. If it doesn't go so well, if you don't get a lot of following, if you don't get any NFT sales on your artworks or project, then ask yourself why. It's not a bad thing because we always learn from things that we do in a new space like this. If we only ever succeed at stuff that we do, we are going to find it very hard when stuff doesn't go our way. I'm not saying that trying and failing and then getting success is better. All I'm saying is that sometimes failing teaches you different stuff that you can handle, maybe change it up and it can turn into a huge success. So my number one tip for this video is going to be that don't see failure as something bad. Instead, take some time, learn from your mistakes and change it up. This is really important in an NFT project. And this is more for an NFT project, not so much for an artist, because for an artist to change things up is very much difficult. However, if you have a project, you can change the direction of your project, the utility of your project, and various things. For an artist, you might change the way that you communicate your project uh, to the community. To further this explanation is we were in a Twitter space the other evening, and one of our community members mentioned that, you know, if you look at nature, and when a butterfly wants to become a butterfly and gets out of its cocoon, if you try and help that butterfly, it would drown in the juices of that lava or this cocoon, right? But if you leave it to struggle, it basically uh, absorbs or gets rid of that juices in some way and it succeeds becoming a butterfly. And I guess we can learn something from that story. And that is that Sometimes we need to struggle, we need to bump our head to understand how to go about certain things. Now you might say, Daniel, that's not what I want to hear, I don't want to bump my head, I want to just have success, that's fair, right? Maybe listen to all the videos that I have and I'm pretty sure you're going to miss all these little things that you could fail at, right? However, if you do feel like your project's not doing well, and you know you are struggling change it up it is okay to change things up try a different direction try different marketing tactics try even a different utility for the project altogether there is one thing that i can save you a bit of headache on and that is that paid marketing in the nft space usually doesn't work and i'm saying usually because there are some edge cases where promoters really does it well However, for the most part, anyone out there that's telling you that they are going to make your project sell out, it's most probably not going to happen. And even if that does, you are not going to attract the right crowd to your cause, to your project. You might have a big sellout, but immediately after, have people dropping the floor price because they don't believe in your project. So you might ask, well, how do I get that right people? How do I get the right amount of organic growth uh, to my project? Well, listen to my previous video where I talk about Twitter spaces. That is really the way that you gain an organic following. People who believe in what you want to build, what your project is about, and if you're an artist, why you created that art. This is a way more powerful way for people to get engaged with what you are doing. As an added example for this particular video, I want to tell you a bit about the Hashlips story. And most people don't know this, but I actually had a Hashlips NFT brand before the educational stuff. 
And what happened was, that was a total failure. I won't say it was completely bad, however it didn't take off as well as I intended it to do, right? And back then I had the art engine, I had all these coding programs and all these tools that I've developed that I then decided, you know what, if I can't make it, it doesn't mean that someone else can't. So I released everything open source and for free. And little did I know, by doing that, it will attract a way bigger crowd. People who are thankful for the educational content, who ended up following what I do, and therefore the later NFT projects that I brought out was relatively successful. And that is just something that I did personally, unknowingly, that this will be this big. So there's an example of me seeing that something wasn't working, but doing something different with it. Because I had these tools, and I had these projects, and I had the knowledge, so I turned into a educational channel, sharing it instead of using it. And I only used the skills and the tools that I had for my own projects much later on, while we were helping others succeeding. I also want to add that it's important to know that you don't have to personally fail yourself. What you can do is analyze other projects, see what went wrong, how did they fail, what did they do to rectify it or not rectify it, and maybe learn from others' mistakes first. That, in conjunction with seeing and looking at projects that did do well, will give you a good understanding on how you can go about marketing, talking, and getting your project out there in the right way. Maybe it is to do with how people revealed the NFTs, how they got it to certain stages, and there's so much more you can learn just by observing. If you try this observing aspect uh, in the NFT space before starting your own, you will just have that extra leg up that no one else has. Because most people create a project and just release it, and then it goes nowhere. But if you take the time, do analysis, you will do way better. So just to conclude everything, don't be afraid to fail. Learn from others' mistakes and successes. And remember, if you don't struggle, you're most probably going to succeed and fail somewhere else. Find your path organically. And also, don't be afraid to take some risks. Take the risks, live your dreams, and go out and build the best project and artworks that you can. And I'm pretty sure if you just try and analyze some other projects, what they have done, and try and implement similar techniques, then it should be a success. And I hope that through this series, you might pick up more tips on how to better the marketing strategy that you will take. And remember, if something is not working, don't be afraid to change it up. Maybe do something different and that will go a bit better. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video for today. Give this video a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next video. Also, let me know in the comments what areas of marketing you want me to touch on. I do have a few videos coming out on this topic. So stay tuned for the rest. I'll see you in the next video. So cheers for now.